NVIDIA is, uh, they're going to talk about, uh, they announced today, actually, their competitor to the RX 480, uh, the GeForce GTX 1060. Now, there aren't reviews out today. This is just kind of just like a preview announcement, a generalized uh, collection of specifications and information. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it looks like that. It looks very similar to other cards. It's built a little bit cheaper, more plastic, less metal. There's not a window there. Uh, it's actually like a painted black section in the middle. It looks fine. Now, this is the Founders Edition, obviously. Um, oh, they're doing a Founders Edition again. Well, they're doing a Founders Edition limited. The other Founders Editions were not limited. Okay. Uh, meaning that they were going to exist for the entire life of uh, the product. This one is limited, meaning that it's probably only going to be at launch. Um, July 19th is when the cards will be available. Partner cards will be available on July 19th as well, I'm told. Um, price for the partner cards will start at $249. The Founders Edition is $299. Um, that's a $50 difference. That's a pretty big delta for a $250 video card. Um, so, you know, that yeah. being said. Also, I, we should point out, like, it's so limited that the Founders Edition is only going to be sold on NVIDIA.com. Not oh, okay. anywhere else, right? right? So it's not going to be like an EVGA or an ASUS Founders Edition or whatever. So. But the partner cards are expected to be like around 200 250 or 299 like, for Founders, 250 for oh, uh, partner cards. I was kind of thinking it'd be like 200 250 with. Well, keep in mind that this card is 239 Yeah. with 8 gigs of memory. Sure. The specs on the GTX 1060 are uh, 6 gigs of memory running at 8 gigabytes per second or 8 gigabits per second. Uh -huh. Um. It has, in terms of core count, it is exactly half of the core count of a GTX 1080. So you got 1,280 cores. Okay. Um, base clock of 1506, boost clock of 1700 megahertz. Um, so then, like, how should that perform, at least on paper, compared to a 480? So NVIDIA says that it is 15% faster than an RX 480. Okay. Um, and 70% more power efficient, right? But, yeah, it is you know. more than 15% higher cost. And no, it's not. No, not for, it's 10 not bucks for, more in theory, right? Yeah. If, if, if you, availability if the, and pricing If you get the non-Founders edition, you've got to add you yeah, know, a yeah, partner yeah, card yeah, 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 or yeah. something um, like yeah. that. I'm just going with the lowest cost for both. Okay, you know. It's 100, it's not here. It's 120, I could have brought it over. It's 120 watt TDP <clears> instead of 150 watt TDP. Yeah, it okay. also only has one six pin power connector. Um, so we'll have to measure it. Sure, our same process but it to see. Should be okay. And I would imagine it we'll will probably be, draw we'll more from the six pin and stuff. Um, um, it, does that other VR works whatever stuff apply to this card? It's the same architecture, right? Yeah, so it's, it's still just, it's Pascal. It's a new chip. It's GP one hundred six instead of GP one hundred four. So it's actually a new okay. die. It's a smaller chip. Um, there were but, rumors, and I actually thought it was going to be true that this card was going to be using another cut down version of GP one hundred four, but that oh. clearly wasn't the case. But will it be able to do all those VR things that haven't necessarily been rolled yes, out? Yes, multi yet? Uh, simultaneous multi projection. Yeah, that's yeah. still part of it. Yeah, VR single pass shading. Okay, um, all that is in there. I mean, that potentially <clears throat> gives it even more of an edge down the line, but yeah. it has to be stuff that comes out for VR. Now we haven't done our testing on it yet because I didn't get a driver until today. But you know, the fifteen percent faster. I have to assume that means in other, in just normal Normal games. stuff, yeah. And in VR, they would use different quotes, higher quotes, right? Yeah. Because um, what they compared the GT, the new GTX 1060 to in, its, in their own family is a GTX 980. They say you're getting the performance of the GTX 980 and the okay. GTX 1060. Um, so the, the, the GTX 980 launched at 499, I think. Okay. And this is launching at 249. Not bad. That's not bad. I mean, it's <laughs> it's been what? Two years, yeah. a year and a half, you know. So, I mean, <clears throat> there's an improvement. And there's already uh, people online complaining that the GTX 960 launched at 199 So, this is actually a price increase. Uh, generation, generational, uh, uh, from generation to generation, which, sure, whatever. Um, so, uh, we'll be curious to see if the 15% holds up against the RX 480. Yep. If it does, and there's availability, which is another big caveat. Sure. Uh, that's a big hit to the RX 480. 